Well, we've been talking about this computerized lighting system since we originally started our rough-in. Well, all the panels are in now, they're hooked up. Our keypads are in place. Each one of these buttons is programmed to start operating the lights. So let's bring you up to speed on how the whole thing came together. It all started with running cable from each light or group of lights, which are called loads, down to the mechanical room. These are called home runs, and they allow us to control each load individually. They also set up keypad locations and ran low voltage cable from each of those down in the mechanical room. Later, we used the lighting control software to create a plan assigning the loads to a series of control modules. The electricians used that to arrange the loads neatly in the enclosures set up for the modules. We connected the keypads to the control wires. The electricians installed the modules and wired the loads to assign spots on each module. And the final element is a CCU or central control unit which is literally the brains of the outfit. Well, we have Scott Anderson with us today to describe what happens when all these home runs come down in a mechanical room. So, I mean, how does a system like this work? Well, Dean, we have all your loads terminated in this uh, location here. And what we've got are some dimming modules and some relay modules. If you think of these relay modules, that's going to be the same as an on-off toggle switch uh, in a conventionally wired system. So it's simply turning a load on and off. Mm -hmm. uh, the dimmers are going to be the same as the dimmer switches in a, a conventional system, but the dimming's actually happening here. And then these are tied into the brains of the outfit up there. Exactly. We've got the central control system. You can see the orange cables uh, up at the top there, and, and that's bringing in input from your control keypads. The control keypad can be uh, programmed to be a dimmer switch, it can be an on-off switch, it can be a scene preset control. And again, it's going to take and process that information and send it out to the enclosures. A button push might be something as simple as turning a relay on and off, or it could be controlling a whole room with 10, 20 different loads in it, or the whole house as a master off. It's going to do that all instantly with the push of a button. So that's kind of the confusing part, I think, to people is that you're not turning a switch off and on anymore. It's exactly right. It's one of the challenges we face in laying out these systems is getting the homeowner to understand that they're no longer dealing with just simple on-off uh, switches and individual dimmers. We can now have a button control whole rooms, entire parts of the house. Uh, it makes their life much easier. Well, let's take a look at the keypads once. Talk a little bit about how they work. Now again, none of these actually switch anything off and on by themselves. No, this would be basically your interface with your control system. So each one of these buttons is going to send a low voltage signal back to the central control unit that we have in the back room there. And it's going to take that button push and then send information out to the relay modules, the dimmer modules that are actually doing the switching of the loads. What I like about this is, is uh, we're controlling the entire family room here, exterior lights, lights up on the stairway, and it's all in one little area. If these were hardwired switches, I mean, we'd have something about this wide. Exactly, in the business we call that wall acne and, and it's one of the benefits of the system. We're going to take all that wall clutter, condense it down to a single gang and then give you anywhere from one to nine buttons in that single gang allowing you to control uh, all the room and even parts of uh, the, the house. So we're about three quarters of the way done on this now. I think we probably